Dear students, in this module, we will continue on our example for using the UPGMA. So U UPGMA, if you remember, is an algorithm to create phylogenetic trees and it has two components to it. So it's a clustering approach and the two components include the construction of a cluster and secondly, the combination of these clusters. So simply put, creating a tree from a sequence or combining two different trees. So let's start. If you remember, building trees included calculating the distance between two sequences. So the distance between X and Y, if this is combined into a cluster Z and W, which is some other sequence. So W is a sequence and Z is a cluster with two sequences X and Y. So the distance between Z and W is given by the number of sequences in X multiplied by the distance between X and W okay plus the number of sequences in Y multiply by the distance between y and w divided by the sum of number of sequences in x and y. So we were demonstrating this in the previous module and the second part of UPGMA, if you remember, was calculating the distance between two trees. So please remember that UPGMA has two components. So in the first component, you cluster and add a sequence to it. In the second case, you add two clusters. Okay, so the formula to compute the distance between cluster X and Y is the number of sequences in X multiplied by the number of sequences in Y, a reciprocal multiplied by the distance of each element within I and J such that I belongs to X and J belongs to Y. Okay, so if you remember the distance matrix between these sequences, let's say ACTG, GTCA, and so on. So these sequences were pairwise sequence aligned and the distance was computed. So once the distance was computed, we realized that A and D were the closest and therefore we constructed this tree, 0 0.5 here. So next, we want to create the cluster V. So A and D have been merged into V. So if A and D have to be removed now, the distance matrix has to be modified and you have to add V into this distance matrix. But how do you know if you want to have B, C, E, F because A and D have been removed and V has been introduced. So if you want to add V to this distance matrix, what is the distance between V and B, V and C, V and E and V and F? So these distances need to be computed. So here we compute the distance between all of these sets of sequences. So note that V is now a cluster of A and D while the rest are only sequences. Okay. So to compute the distance between V and B, what you have to do is distance between V and B would be number of sequences in A so obviously there was only one sequence in each one of these when we started. So 1 and the distance between A and B that is 6. So here you go 1 into 6 plus number of sequences in D. So that is 1 still. And the distance between D and B. So the distance between D and B 
is 6. Here you go. And the answer is 6. So the distance between V and B is 6. Now let's consider the distance between V and C. So to calculate the distance between V and C, the first thing you have to do is find out the number of sequences in A. So that's 1. Distance between A and C, that's 8. Number of sequences in D, that's 1. And the distance between D and C. Here you go. So 1 into 8 plus 1 into 8 divided by 1, 1. So this is the same value. So the answer is 8. So the distance between V and C is 8. So we keep computing the distance between the other sequences. So now we want to compute the distance between V and E. So we have already computed the distance between V and B and V and C. So these two are done. Now we are looking at V and E. So to compute the distance between V and E, you have to use the same formula that is given here. So number of sequences in A is 1. Distance between A and E is 2. The number of sequences in D is also 1. The distance between D and E is 2. So you fill the formula and you get the distance between V and E which is equal to 2. So V and E is also calculated. And lastly, you have to calculate the distance between V and F. So the distance between V and F is simply calculated by using the same formula. So the number of sequences in A is 1. The distance between A and F is 6. The number of sequences in D was 1. So you computed the distance between V and F, which is equal to 6. Now you have computed V and E, V and C, V and B. So since you have computed the distance between V and all other sequences, now you are ready to fill up the matrix and update it. So to summarize, UPGMA starts by computing the distance between all sequences and you only select those two sequences which are the closest or in other words which have the smallest distance. Then you combine those two sequences into a cluster and you compute the distance between this cluster, this newly created cluster with every other sequence that is not including the two sequences that were there in the shortest distance. So using this approach you can create an updated distance matrix and this process can be repeated to uh, keep computing clusters such that they are close to each other.